Hi everyone, welcome back. I know what you're thinking. It's been a month again, what's his excuse this time? So we do have a little bit of an excuse. It turns out Carol and I both miss helicopter flying. I've probably mentioned it to some of you in videos before and in conversations. I find helicopter flying addictive. And when Carol mentioned that she missed it, I said, I can fix that. So we got our 269 back, it's a different one. I actually flew it all the way back from Penyan uh, Aero up in Penyan, New York, about uh, maybe three weeks ago now. So we're having a lot of fun with the helicopter again. But uh, I know that's not why many of you are here. We're here for the RB10, but there's been a little bit of a delay while I work through all of this one. But progress is being made, so let's talk about that. We'll go over here, and uh, I think I mentioned last time on the Bogert rotator. So that's on now, and it's made it really easy for some things that I'm going to share with you. The big part, and I may have mentioned this last time, was doing the cabin top. That is, I hate it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. And it's, it's really a two-person job. It's, it's kind of awkward. It's not all that heavy. One person can carry it by themselves. But trying to fit it up in here, it probably went on and off at least a dozen times, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about a dozen times on and off till we finally got it to fit. And then even after that, it's, it's still doing some fitting. And then drilling all the holes, matching everything. And uh, so now it's back off, and I'll show you where that's at. So again, now we'll be able to make some progress on the fuselage. I'm going to get the front half completely riveted on now once I get all the insulation on the firewall up there. And the uh, reason why I kind of got some of this stuff going uh, two places at once is because of this cabin top, we're going to be using epoxy. So you're going to epoxy something, wait for it to dry, and it's nice to have some things to work on as opposed to just waiting for that to dry. So let me share with you the cabin top now as what we've done with it. So I don't think you said what made the Bogart, having the Bogart nice. Oh, you're right. So uh, what happens, you can see this rotate. So it made it very easy when I was working on one side or the other, or quite candidly, when Carol was trying to help put the top on, we were able to lower her side so she didn't have to quite lift it as high over her head to get it on. Because you really got to come up pretty high here and then slide it down inside these. And this is a really tight fit. You can see it's a square. And if you get that top tilted in any way, it just gets stuck. So it, it's kind of awkward to balance it. I didn't figure out a good way to make it work with the A-frame. So it was just uh, people power on and off for a while. And it and made it easy to roll it outside to do sanding or cutting yeah, a whole the, airplane. That's true. The fiberglass is just a mess. We're cutting, sanding, so we're able to roll the airplane outside and not get all that dust inside the hangar. And uh, so we'll move over here. Oh, yeah. so you can see now, here is the cabin top. Actually, it's easy to work on it upside down on the little uh, uh, rollaway jig that I had there underneath the fuselage before we had the Bogart rotator on there. And these are some nice products from Aerosport products, which work out really well. So this time we're adding uh, the center console. Uh, we're not doing air conditioning. I think I've mentioned that already. But this allows for some more fresh air. So I think I may have pointed out on the back of the fuselage, we added two more NACA vents. And we'll plumb fresh air into here. So that'll just give us a little more fresh air through four vents in the top, blowing on our heads. And... For future owners, if they elect to put in air conditioning, the duct work will already be there for them. But uh, as I've mentioned, I don't feel a need for air conditioning yet in the RV-10. So I've got that all in, cut, and clicked in place. And then the next thing to work on are these uh, covers for the headline. It's much easier to do this stuff with this upside down. Trying to work on this once it's already glued into the aircraft is just really it's just a pain in the neck, quite honestly. Uh, so now if we get these done like this, all clicked in, and then Carol will go ahead and put the insulation on here, and and it'll hold the shape somewhat better than trying. These things are really flimsy. Trying to work on them off of the aircraft are just really hard to do. So uh, one of the other tricks I do here, I may have mentioned in the other RV-10, is I'm going to put some uh, 632 screws here through, uh, and they'll be hidden underneath the window flange here. So the window will actually go over top of them. And then the threads will stick it on this side, and we'll use a little castle nut 
kind of decorative to hold this in. You can hold it in with Velcro as well. We have found this works really nicely. And, uh, you know, sometimes in the heat, the Velcro doesn't stick all that well. So I And then we put the black with... trim around the window. Yeah, we'll put black trim right around this once the window is glued in. You'll see that. Um, so next steps, Carol's going to do the insulation here. And then I'm going to bond this to the cabin top. I've spent untold hours, I think it was a whole week basically, of a lot of hours every single day getting this in shape. So you can see here now what's going to left showing on the inside of the fuselage. So this has all been sanded smooth. I've got some final sanding to do here because we will paint this whole interior uh, one color, uh, including the, it's almost a shame to uh, cover up the nice carbon fiber that... Uh, uh, Aerosport provides, but uh, we're going to paint it to match the inside of the fuselage. And uh, once I get that bonded, uh, this will be able to go back on the aircraft. And then you'll see, we'll do another video. There's a whole bunch of filling and sanding that's going to have to go on uh, once this gets mounted inside the uh, cabin. So thanks for watching.